We are going to now give an example of solving those multiple asset portfolio models in Excel. And we're going to start with the equations. And we're going to do these equations as well as then solving for the efficient frontier. These are our four assets that we are going to use in our example. You've seen these before. Stocks, then these happens to be returned since 1929 through the present. T-bills, T-notes, and land. We're going to use the geometric means. At geometric mean of stocks, 10%. Standard deviation, 17%. And then you see below the correlation coefficients between the assets. That's the example that we are going to work in our Excel framework. So let's go to that Excel framework now. Here is what our Excel spreadsheet will look like. I have copied the equation for the equations here. And where how these work is here we show the expected this this column here has the weights of the asset. Here are our expected returns. Here are our standard deviations. We have the possibility of adding up to five assets in this spreadsheet. We're only using four right now. And over here is our correlation coefficients. You saw those on the previous slide, by the way. Here's our lower level. Then over here, this is a matrix. Uh, if the correlation coefficient between stocks and T-bills is 0 0.06, then it's 0 0.06 between bit stock or T-bills and stocks. All right, as far as implementing these equations, here is our expected return equation. The expected return is given right here. And if you look at that, what it is is the expected return. It's just the weight times the expected return. Now, if I put all these to zero and put our weight on all on the first one, our expected return of our portfolio will be the same as the expected return of the asset, obviously. All right, I'm going to put these back here. 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. Here's our portfolio weight of 1. They all have to equal 1. All right, our second equation here is the variance of the portfolio. That is implemented over here. We have the weight, standard deviation, and this is just copying this over here. And then each one of these terms does what this equation does. And this is the first. All right. Look at it. Assure yourself of it. Then our variance right here is the sum of all of these. So that implements this equation. We could have 5 in this spreadsheet, you could easily add 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It would be fairly easy to do. So that's where this variance comes in. Its calculation is done over here. And our standard deviation then is the square root. Again, if we put 1 and 0, 0, 0 here, our standard deviation is going to be the same as asset 1, because that's all that's in our asset. Those are the equations and how we choose to implement them in Excel.